and we love everyone to concentrate. And be expected when you come with the house of the Lord. Most of the time when Christians come with the house of the Lord, I've come to realize they go more than once how they came. Because they were used to the presence of the Lord. And that's not the will of God you to come unto this place. Whenever you prepare yourself to come for service, you know that there are things you can't receive inside your house. And that's why you make a step to come. Listen from the Lord. And if we find her to have a good of skills at all, praise the living God. Amen. And I would love everyone to be posted according to the sound of the Lord. Like in Naitali Kila Mutu, a queen, a was on Jema and Yan Jema for Sahabia Sajam. And I want to speak about love. Natakus of Muzia Ruken. Something that has affected most of the Christians. Nicho Kitu Kinati or Christo Wing. Even the leaders of the church. After the Ongozi Wakanisa. Even the worshippers, the apostles and everyone in the church. Love, love has affected them. So let's get the readings from 2 Timothy. Just open your readings. In 2 Timothy chapter 3. The Lord says, Wanasema. This know also that in the last days, Zamusho, the religious times shall come. Zinakuja, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Ya kwamba, wenyewe, commercials, ya kwamba, tama, boosters, watajinua, proud, blasphemers, Disobedient to parents, and thankful, and unholy. This is the last days. The hard times shall come. The people shall be lovers of themselves. The Lord knows that this time shall come. The people shall love themselves. They shall put themselves as a priority. They shall not work for the needs. They shall reject the orphans. But they shall work fast on themselves. And that's why God has spoken unto us. And even who are those who That in the last days, people shall love themselves. What you are And even if you look at yourself, and you put yourself into a way balance, now you wake up at And you see the love that you have for yourself. Now we want to open the way we are now. We are going to get the love that you have for a neighbor. Now open the way we are now. We are going to get it. It's quite different. So the last days, people shall be conventions. People shall be blasphemers. They shall be of great pride. People shall be self wide. What is the They shall be self wide. No one will need something good for a brother. Because there is no love. If you love love, you can't convince me that you have the Holy Spirit. Because the Bible says that God Himself is love. So when you define yourself from love, you have got no Holy Spirit. And many people say that they have the Holy Spirit. But they are outside love. Because love is an evidence of mistakes. Let someone make a mistake. And 
You can't know about God if you don't know about love. Praise the living God. You must love first. From the deepest abundance of your heart, with a pure motive, about love, so that to love a brother, so that to love even what God says. If you don't know about love, you will never understand about God. Even if you be filled with the Holy Spirit, but you love the fruit of love. My brother, that is useless. Many people are together. Different companies, different groups of worshippers, many great fans, even inside the churches. But these people do not love each other. Besides the name of the Lord into their mouths. Besides singing holy good worships, the love of God is never unto them. And it has great boundaries in the house of the Lord. It has turned the house of the Lord into gangs of robbers. Because people are not in love. And these are Christians saying that we know about God. So do not love the world. The world looks so nice in the outside person. The world is so sweet when you look with your naked eyes. It has taken us even to a digital phone. But it's coming to pass away. It's coming to pass away. The last of the eyes. The last of our hearts. They shall come to pass away. You shall desire these things, my brother. But remember that they are coming to pass away. Until you come to a possibility of loving. Loving from the abundance of the heart. Praise God. Amen. Are we coming to be transformed today? I don't want you to come into the service and go back the same same person because you have a hardened heart even after this service if you are against a brother I plead you in the name of Jesus start building the love of Christ amongst you Start worshiping in love. Give your sacrifice in love. God is not taking first the offering. He's counting first love. You know that you are against your brother. You are against your husband. You are against your man. It's not all about coming with an offering. It's just to give it. The Lord is saying that come with it. Leave it unto the altar. Make sure go and make Christ with your brother. And come and give out your offering. Praise the living God. Amen. It's not all about coming with offerings and giving out. The offering are given are being given without love. The praises should be given out of love. Worship should be given out of love. Have you ever met worshippers singing but they hate each other? People that are in the same church, in the same seat, but they hate each other. Even if you tell a neighbor, greet your friend. Very gloomy. What's pastor saying? He's just wasting time. Let him just preach the gospel. What's the gospel minus love? Everything is 
coming to pass away. Everything is coming to pass away. Remember that everything that you do minus love in you it's vanity there is no production you will receive when you are working outside personally just go ahead from verse chapter 4 the same book first John chapter 4 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God, and knows God. Chapter number 7. Wapenzi wangu tupendane maana upendo hutoka kwa mungu kila mtu alie na upendo ni mtoto wa Mungu na anamjua Mungu. That love each and one another. Penda kila mmoja. That love is from God. Upendo ni kutoka kwa Mungu. You can never say that you know God. Uwezi sema unamjua Mungu. You can never say that you're worshiping God. Unaweza usemaje unamwabudu Mungu. But you don't know about love. Na ufahamu upendo. He has given us a simple form. Anatupa hii rais. That those who love Ask yourself a question. Those who hate. Those who hate. Who has born them? Nani ambaye It's a question. It's a to the church. And those who know about love. Wala ambao wanafahamu upendo they are born of God. Ni wamezaliwa kutokana na Mungu. Now how about those who hate? Na wala ambao wanachukia. Nani hizo? Nani anawaza? Are you getting that question? Hate the church. has been a very great enemy to the church. It has created a very great bondage and captivity into men's hearts. People are just talking to each other outwardly. But inside, like in our hearts are burning. Because you don't have love. And even if someone shows you love, you are like, I don't want about these things. Let us just worship and then we want to go to his home. So it's just a matter of being seen and done and gone. But that is vanity. It will come to an end. It will pass away. But true love, there are some old doors are open to love. From a sincere, pure, hard love. There are things are breaking through love. There are great relationships are built through love. So if you are born of God, you understand love. But if you don't understand love, you will never know about God. You will deceive yourself years and years. Even a prophet will come from Nigeria. He will give you good prophecies. But minus love is vanity. Whatever you want your friend to do for you, things that you desire for yourself, first desire for your brother. Desire for them to other colleagues. The good life that you are desiring now, desire for others. The great testimonies you are believing for. Can you, can you believe for others the same thing? Praise the living God. Amen. I would like you to check into your heart. And look about your love. That those who are born of God, they understand about love. Verse 8. 
that loves not knows not God mtu asiye na upendo hamjui Mungu maana Mungu ni upendo praise god who does not love asiyependa does not know god hamjui Mungu are we understanding each other tunaelewana hapa they are just very plain words from the holy spirit ali maneno wazi wazi kutoka na roho zake any one that does not love ayote ambaye hapendi any one that does not know about love yes yote ambaye hawafahamu upendo never knows god hamfahamu Are you here and you are full of hatred? Oko hapa na umejaa chuki. You can convince me that you love you love you love. Unaanza nidanganya na kunishawishi unapenda una. But deep down your body. Lakini ndani ya moyo wako unaungulika sana. You have no love inside you. Au upendo hauko tena ndani mwako. My sister even if you have the like 10 albums. Hata ukwe na albamu kumi. You have a set of preachy preachy audios. Hata ukwe na maubiri zaidi. God is saying that you, you don't know him au mwaelewe Mungu anazungumza because you don't know love kwa sababu ufahamu upendo ni nini so even even singing it's love hata kuimba ni upendo even just greeting a brother it's love hata kusalimia ndugu ni upendo so if you want to know god kama unataka kumjua it's not all about speaking in tongues sio kuongea tu kwa ndini peke yake first create love kwamba tengeneza mazingira ya upendo kwanza first love each other bendaneni kwanza from the deepest of your heart ndani Because it's a command from God. Hii ni amri ya Mungu. God loved us first. Mungu alitupenda sisi mwanzo. And he gave his only son. Na akamtoa mwanao wa pekee. To die for our sins. Na kwamba akakufia msalaba na zetu. We did not we did not ask God to love us. Atakumuuliza akatupende sisi. And he says, na akasema, how he loves the church. Ni anavyopenda kanisa. We should love each other. Ndivyo tunapaswa kupenda mmoja na mwingine from we shall we shall go to us just hold on but not the high verse 10 mstari wa 10 in this is love not that we loved god but he loved us and sent his son to the propitiation for our sins Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we dwell in him, and he is in us, because he has given us of his spirit, and we know and we have seen and to testify that father sent the son so to be the savior of the world whosoever confesses that jesus is the son of god god dwells in him and he in god and we have known and believed the love that god has for us god is love and he that dwells in love dwells in god and and god in him In this our in sorry in this is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world there is no fear in love but perfect love casts out fear before fear has to do with punishment he that fears is not made perfect in love and just read me verse verse 16 20 basi sisi tunajua na tunaamini upendo alio nao Mungu kwetu sisi Mungu ni upendo kila mtu aishie katika upendo anaishi katika muungano na Mungu na Mungu anaishi katika muungano naye upendo umekamilika ndani yetu kusudi tuweze kuwa na ujasiri siku ile ya hukumu ya hukumu kwani maisha yetu hapa duniani ni kama yale ya Kristo. Halipo na upendo hapana uoga, na upendo kamili hukufuza uoga wote. Basi mtu mwenye uoga haja hajakamilika haja bado katika upendo kwani uoga 
Uhusikana na adabu. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Have you read your scriptures? Nasoma maandiko. Yes. In a simple term that love is a conjunction between you and God. Na kwamba upendo ni ni tembo ama kilindi cha kwamba wewe kinakuunganiza na Mungu. Praise God. Amen. That when you live here under the sun, wakati unaishi chini ya jua hii, that you are you, you are not fear. You are not living in fear. Auishi ndani ya uoga because you are inside love. Kwamba uko ndani ya upendo. And if you walk inside love, nabo tembea ndani ya upendo. You move in the perfected will of God. Unatembea ndani ya mapenzi ya Mungu. Because God is moving you in love. Baba Mungu anakutembeza ndani ya upendo. You have abiding in him in love. Kwamba umejiunganisha naye kwa sababu ya upendo. So he is inside you in love. Kwamba uko ndani mwao kwa sababu ya upendo. So the love God has given when you when I'm going to be patient penetrate to a brother ambapo utapenyeza ndani ya ndugu so that when you see your brother wakati unapoona ndugu you see him as yourself unamuona kama ni wewe how is it each other unapatana hapa that when you see the other person besides you wakati unapoona mtu mwingine kando na wewe you are seeing God inside him unaona Mungu ndani mwake because you have the love of God kwa sababu tayari uko na upendo wa Mungu but yet yet lakini chuki has work a higher percentage into christians life lakini chuki imejaa zaidi na iko na percentage kubwa ndani ya mioyo wako each and every one wants to be better than the other kwamba wako na tamani na kia kuwa zaidi wazuri kuliko wengine the christian that are saved ndio ni wakristo wameokoka but even they can reach a fellow christian lakini wanaenda roga wa wakristo wenzao yeah because god has just blessed someone as a babu mungu amewabariki there are some christians inside the church na wakristo wengi ndani ya kanisa they are just good christians by them ni wameitwa tu na wanaitendishwa tu na jina la kristo but the power of love of god lakini nguvu za upendo wa mungu is not manifesting in their lives i onekane ndani ya maisha yao today we have just seen leo tunaita that's walk into love to tembea ndani ya upendo if you walk inside love utakutembea ndani ya upendo you will be walking with god utakuwa unatembea na mungu if you walk inside love kama unatembea ndani ya upendo you will have an understanding spirit utakuwa na roho wa kuelewa you will know how to deal with people utakuwa na uwezo wa kujua na nyota sidi kuchangamana na watu you will know how to tackle with everyone utajua na utapata suluhu na wengine you will just not end up force by force because you have some reality ah utaenda tu na nguvu zako kwa sababu uko na ukweli you will use wisdom and knowledge utatumia hekima na maarifa because love is coming on the top alafu upendo uko juu praise god amen so as we stand on our feet na kusimama kwa miguu zetu I don't know how you will convince yourself. Sijui wewe unaweza kujifariji. If you know that you have been loving that's your case. Kama umejua umekuwa ukipenda ni sawa. But I just need one worshiper. Nataka mwabudu mmoja. That will go down to his knees. Ataenda kwa magoti yake. And tell God that I have been a hypocrite. Na kwamba nimekuwa munafi. I have been a Pharisee. Nimekuwa kama mafarisayo. I have been defending myself with a modern love. Nimekuwa nikijifumbaza na upendo wa kisasa. Say that I love my fellow colleagues. Na nikijidanganya na wapenda wenzangu. Pretending that I know God. Na kujifanya na fariji na jua Mungu. But I have been knowing nothing. Lakini sijafahamu chochote. I want you just to stand on your feet. Jua mke kwa miguu zetu. And just open your heart. Fungua moyo wako. I want to hear someone who is speaking. Nataka kusikia mtu akizungumza. I want to hear someone speaking the house of God. Nataka kusikia mtu akizungumza ndani ya nyumba. And take God. Naambia Mungu. The Lord as your word has come to pass. Hiyo neno lako limepita siku hii. We have been walking into deceitful ways. Tumekuwa tukitembea kwa njia ya kujidanganya. We have been hypocrites king of glory. Tumekuwa we have been deceiving ourselves we have been not working in your will we have not been perfecting ourselves But Lord, this time we are here. Lakini hivi sasa tuko hapa. We are coming down to your glory. Tunashuka chini bwana wa So that you take your position in our lives. Chukua nafasi hapa ndani ya maisha yetu. So that the love to penetrate in our lives. Ili upendo wako kaingie ndani ya maisha yetu. Our Father, we cry this evening. Eh baba tunalia jioni hii. That God may you seek it our hearts. Ya kwamba ukazame ndani ya mioyo zetu. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Ya kwamba roho mtakatifu chukua nafasi. Fill us with the spirit Jesus. Fill us with the spirit of 
glory God. We know our enemies have done more than us. But God has commanded us to love. My brother, pray, 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 pray. Sister, pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Let me hear someone pray. Let me hear someone pray. Add me some volume, please. Add me some volume. Pray, 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 pray. Yes, Lord. May you deliver us, Lord. Sanctify our hearts, Lord. The Lord is delivering. The Lord is delivering. The Lord is moving. The Lord is watching. The Lord is making us pay. Yes, I want to 
the Lord is raining into our hearts. I don't know what are you still holding. You don't want to love. I will take you better than the Lord is raining, the Lord is raining. Ah. Ah, the Lord is raining, the Lord is raining. Free up yourself. Why you don't love you put yourself in a No need to touch you, no need to hold your hand. But by this sound of this piano, God is penetrating in you. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just after service, you start practicing it. 
Na tena baada ya ibada uanze kuendeleza chuki yako tena. I would love to see men of God practicing now. Ningependa kuona watu wa Mungu wakiendeleza jambo la upendo. From the pure hearts. Ndani ya mioyo yao kwa kumaanisha mioyo sana. Heavenly Lord. Baba tunasamani asante. Father we worship you. Tunakuinua. We exalt you each and every time. Tunakukumbuza kila saa kila dakika. You have taught us about love. Umetufundisha mambo ya upendo. Who is you God? Wewe ni nani? You are you are love yourself. Kwamba upendo ni wewe mwenyewe. And you warned us that we should not love the world. Na tamba umetuonya tusipende dunia. That if we love the world your love is not with us. Kwamba tukipenda dunia upendo wako huko ndani mwetu. That if we love the world we will never know him. Na kwamba tukipenda dunia pia hatutakufahamu. Father we are coming down. Daba tunashuka chini. Take your positions in our hearts. Chukua nafasi ndani ya mioyo zetu. May you reign in our inner man. Baba uka Create us to whom they are. Create us a new heart. 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 Musa mambo makuu ndani ya mioyo hizi. The God we are not going to be the same. Na kwamba hatutabaki tulivyo sasa. Let your word move and move into our hearts. Na kwamba wacha neno lako likaendele likaendele ndani ya mioyo zetu. And let the love that is in us. Na kwamba hii upendo ulio ndani mwetu. Let it be seen unto the whole world. Wacha ikaonekane dunia nzima. Let the whole world see the love we have to each other. Wacha tuone dunia itazame na kushuhudia upendo ulio nao kwa kila mtu. Let it find a place to give you the glory of God. Na wacha ikakuwe na fasi ya kukutukuza na kurudishia shukrani in the name of Jesus Christ katika jina la Yesu Kristo God we pray as we pray tunaomba na kuamini amen amen amen